Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Melanie Maceres, I'm the uh, spokesperson for Oregon Lottery. And thank you for joining us today for this historic $1.3 billion Powerball winner announcement. Uh, when our claimants came forward earlier this month, we had shared that we had to follow a process before we were able to reveal who the winners were. Well, we were able to conduct our vetting process that related to security and such pretty quickly within a day or so. What took longer was the process to collect the prize money from the Multi-State Lottery Association, um, who manages the game. Also, we needed to give time to our claimants to figure out how they wanted to be paid and seek some guidance on a decision of this magnitude. Now that we have made everything official, I'm excited to announce that we have three winners of the $1.3 billion jackpot. Our first winner is Chang, known as Charlie Seifan, and his wife, Duen Pen Seifan. They're both from Portland, and their friend, Liza Chang, who is from Milwaukee. Among the three, Charlie is here today and will be sharing his story. We're very excited for that and answering a few questions from all of you. The other winners are not interested in doing any media interviews at this time, so we would just ask that you respect their privacy. And on that note, I would like to introduce Oregon Lottery's Chief Communication Officer, Matt Shelby. So good afternoon. Uh, thank you all for coming. You know, this lobby has seen a lot of winter celebrations over the years, uh, but none like this. Uh, $1.3 billion, that, that takes the cake. So on behalf of all of us at Oregon Lottery, uh, I want to congratulate uh, Charlie, Yuan Pen, and Liza. Uh, Charlie, can you come on out? Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for coming here tonight, today. So, good to see everyone here. And uh, first, I want to thank God. They gave me a beautiful prize. And thank you uh, for everyone being here. And uh, I want to introduce, introduce myself to you all a little bit and uh, how I get here today. And I am Cheng Sapan. I was born in Laos in 1977. I moved to Thailand in 1987 and stayed in Thailand for six years. And I came to America in 1994. And I graduated from high school in 1996. And I've working since then until 2016. And then I I found out I have a cancer. So since 2016, I've been battling with cancer for eight years now. Currently, I'm still having chemotherapy. I just had one last Monday, and I'm still fighting. I got no hair because of chemotherapy. And uh, I'm glad for you for a lottery, uh, and how I have been Blessed with this price, I will be able to provide for my family and my health. 
and and uh, I pray for blessing, prayer were answered, and my life has been changed. Now I can bless my family and find a good doctor for myself. And thank you very much. I can uh, answer some questions if you guys are. Uh... Go ahead. Yeah, uh, I'm, my name is Amanda Arden. I'm with CBS News. So the prize is being split among three people. Can you tell us how you plan to split that and, and how you all uh, decided that you would split it? Uh, three people winning, but actually the uh, main winning is me and Liza. My, just two people winning the whole ticket. But uh, I wish to walk straight in half. And then uh, myself, I, I spread with my wife. So we are all three winners now. <laughs> Claire Rush, Associated Press, uh, tell us about the moment you learned that you had the winning ticket. What did that feel like? Uh, excuse me? With the moment where you found out that you had the winning ticket, can you tell us what that was like and what you felt like in that moment? Oh, I felt. Excited and uh, like it's not it's not like I'm gonna pass out or something like that. But I felt, I, but I, I won, and then I was thinking, oh, I'm happy for for my family. They will have a good life. But to myself, I'm in the middle of a battling cancer. So I been thinking, how am I gonna have time to spend all of this money? <laughs> <laughs> how long will I live? I'm thinking of that and I go, I go, uh, just normal. Not that exciting, not that happy to, to me. One, one side of my heart, I'm happy for my family and relatives. Yes, Thank you. Over here. Hi, Daisy with KGW. Uh, what is going to be your first purchase once you get the money? <laughs> my first purchase is a house. My dream home. Yeah. Are you a regular player of Oregon Lottery? Can I play again? Do you, do you play regularly? In the oh, yeah. Um, I play, but a year ago, not, not very much, but in a four or five months ago, and then I start playing big. I have feelings that I, like uh, I cannot win it. I can win it. But I didn't think I win, I'm going to win this big. <laughs> I was thinking I'm going to win a uh, Oregon lottery and make a buck, something like that. But I never thought I was going to win this big. Do you want to tell them, tell them about the paper? Yes. Uh, tell them that's right. Um, is that paper here or no? Yeah. We have it out there. Um, it's a trick. It's a magical. I, I had a paper that I, I wrote down with all the numbers and like, I call her. So I have those numbers written down, so I pray to the God, so uh, God by the place. I am struggling, I have a young kid and young wife, and then uh, I need some help. I don't want to die yet, unless I, done, I have something for my family first. I pray, I tell my father, God, father, sir, the, one, the number 1 to 69, it's the white ball. I want that five number. Give me that five number. Or that. And then on the red one on the bottom, one to the 26, I said, I want one number from that, from that group. And then I put that piece of paper under the pedal sheet. Under there, I slap it. Slap it there for two weeks and then win it. <laughs> I win that. Wait. Quick pick, quick pick. It's not the one I pick myself, quick pick. So God pick for me, thank you. <laughs> Are you gonna keep playing the lottery? Are you finished? Uh, okay. Are you gonna keep playing? Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Um, I'm not gonna play again, I can play. <laughs> 
Thank you. Back here in the blue. Uh, what do you do when you're waiting for work and do you plan on staying? Uh, doing whatever you offer doing. Do what, thank you. What do you do for work and do you plan on still doing that? So you mean uh, before or uh, from now on? So yeah, I guess moving up to now. Uh, it was, I, I didn't work because I canceled battles I was on disability. Oh. What did you do before you, what did you do before you went on disability? Uh, so I, I, I'm not here, not very well. What were you doing before you went on disability? Oh. Uh, before I was in uh, the field the field day, I worked for uh, on fire aerospace that make air airplanes component. Yeah, uh, it was a uh, CNC setup, crew, edit, almost a program I, I, I just CNC setup, operate. Okay. Thank you. Christian. Okay. Do you have any plans for yourself? Or are you going to take it all, uh, take it on an annuity? Um, I'm over now, and I'm, I'm in a health. I have health issues. I'm decided to take a lump sum. Yeah. Do you plan to continue living in Oregon when you buy the dream house? Buy the house? Do you want to stay in Oregon? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I I love Oregon. I've been here 30 years. So I love Oregon. I'm not going to move out. I stay in Oregon here. Yeah. Have you picked out any charities to help? Or is, uh, is, have you moved on with any ideas like that for charities? Do you plan on uh, contributing to any charities? Contributing? To charities. Giving money to charities. Security? Security? A charity? So I, I, I haven't think about it yet, but uh, we're working on it. Yeah. Any other questions? I, I think you should share how you told Liza uh, about the win. Because you have the ticket. And do you want to share that story when you called her? Oh, okay. Yeah, um, I found out that I won. So I'm with my partner, and I call her, and she's on the, on driving on the way to work. And I told her, uh, where, where are you going? What are you doing now? She said, I'm driving on the way to work. And I told her, you don't have to go work now. <laughs> We won the lottery. We won the jackpot. She said, "Are you lying? Are you serious? Are you serious?" I said, "Yeah. You don't believe me. Come up here. Don't go up to my house and and verify the number." And then she got to my house, verify the number. She still 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 can't believe it. She called her son over and verified it again. So that way, we two eyes. Four eyes, six eyes, look at it. <laughs> and we all, we all, we live now. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I mean, people tend to target people who win money like this. Have you taken any steps to protect yourself since winning? Uh, what protect myself? Yeah, you yeah, should talk about how you are working with some experts. Uh. So that I, I have to think about it, and I just say uh, I pray to God to protect me for whatever reason, and uh, guide me to spend money in the right way, doing the right thing. So right now, I'm still working on things that I never done before. So it's a lot of stuff in my head beyond that. I will think about later, I'm working on it later, so thank you. Go ahead, question. What is the sash? Can you explain the sash? Oh, like, like I said, uh, I am born in Lao, but actually I'm not a Lao Shen. I am an Eu Mian. Eu Mian lived in USA, 
Sarah is a union. Most union people live in uh, California, Oregon, and Seattle, Washington. And can you explain who Zia, Ziza Chow is? That your daughter? Is that right? A, a, just a friend. Eliza. Oh, Eliza. Oh, Eliza. Eliza. Just, just friend. A friend. Yeah. Yeah, it's exciting. We we never talk about sharing buying uh, lottery, but that time I just feel I go, I want to get out and buy a lottery. Go buy a lottery. I ask him, hey, I want to go buy a lottery. You want to ship in one hundred dollar with me? We can share. And then she said, oh, okay, I can do that. And she gave me hundred dollar. I get out and go buy it. I bought a ticket and. We all sprint and walk away and then driving, driving home and she driving home her son and she texts me, Hey, we are really there. And I look at the phone on the driving car. Okay, okay, yeah. That's it. And then the next morning it really happened. <laughs> <laughs> so oh go ahead. So how many tickets did you buy? Oh um I, well, I we bought that, that 20 ticket, well, 200 is 20 ticket. And I bought another 40, 60 box for myself. And then uh, I slept in the, on the, uh, I, that night, about 11 o'clock, I went to my friend's birthday party and came home, I checked the power bar, and I opened the internet, kicked it out, oh, delay. So I didn't see the number, and I went to sleep. In the morning, 6 a.m., my sister texted me. I went from three, and I grabbed and read, Hey, brother, somebody won lottery in Portland, Oregon. Is it you? <laughs> <laughs> Check your ticket. And I was like, okay. And I put my phone down, got up, and go wash my face. Brush my teeth and come out, put the glass on, turn on the light, pour out my ticket, sit on the table, and then I uh, keep, I wrote, actually, I wrote down all the number on a uh, piece of paper. Yes, and then sit on there, on the table, my mom's on the other side, the table, drinking coffee, and I check all the one uh, partial that I bought for myself, then went. And I get the bundle with that uh, me and Liza share. And then check, 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 there are maybe seven, six tickets left. I go to sit there, I go, oh my god, somebody won, not me. <laughs> I felt that. I go, it's not me, so it's done. And then I start looking again the rest. Um, one more and two more and then to the third one, down down to the last line. And then saw boom, boom, three numbers, and then look at a nine at the end, and then look two more. It's all in. And I put, put down my hand and I go, take a deep breath. And I tell my mom, mom, we're rich. <laughs> <laughs> she said, rich? How rich? <laughs> yeah, I was asking, how rich? She said, we're rich. <laughs> and, I, and I respond to my, my sister. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> and she she, she texts me back and says, You liar, ha ha ha, no. you're the best $20? And I, I didn't answer her. Right. Oh, yeah, I really win. If you don't believe me, call me. And, and then she called me and I said, Yeah, it's winning. If you don't believe me, let, I let my mom uh, read the number for you. And mom come over and read. She couldn't see the number, but 22 uh, or something like that. She started crying. <laughs> Excited, she started crying. And uh, that was the uh, uh, story for that morning. <laughs> okay, just one or two more. Go ahead. Can you talk about your friendship with the other winner? What kind of friendship, you know, how long have you guys known each other, et cetera? A friendship is just like people we know, uh, we hang out day, uh, uh, weekly, maybe other day. We don't hang out a lot, but sometimes we get together, uh, like having a party or something, we get together. Like 
it's not very close friend, uh, but we are friends. <laughs> okay, one, one more. Did you always know that you were going to win big? Go, going to win big? Right? Did you know that you uh, were always going to win? I uh, maybe that um, I think around two to three months. I'm feeling like that. I have feelings that I'm gonna win, like I said earlier. You know, but never know I'm gonna win big like that. But I, I'm thinking a like couple million. I thought about it. <laughs> Everybody good? Uh, any, yes. Anything okay. else? I think we're good. I think um, okay. if you'd be willing to t take some photos with our track. Uh, you can step right in front. Yeah. I can do one more shot for you. Is it split three ways, or is it like 50% of the couple and 50% of the friends? 
That's right, but within the couple, they designated 25 to each person. Yeah. And when he asked the question about his job, was, is it a machinist with Boeing, or is that, I didn't hear Boeing. I don't think but, it was Boeing, no. Okay, just a machinist, yeah. airplane parts. Yeah. He didn't say what his wife does, right? No. Do you know how many children they have? And how I don't know the ages, no. I know they're fairly young, and he has two children. Two children. And you don't know what he did before he got cancer. I think you did the song. You just answered that question. <laughs> Any other questions before we wrap up? Yeah. So you said at the beginning it only took you one day to vet the ticket. Is that right? And then About a day. Um, our, our process, so the security process and some of the things that we talked about at the last um, event we had, I know that everyone was really focused on that and that taking a long time, but what really took a couple of weeks was being able to get the money to pay them and also allowing them to have time to think about what decisions they needed to make before they were paid. So figuring out, you know, do they want the lump sum or an annuity option? If they had done the annuity option, how much would they, they would have gotten a little bit more than they did the lump sum. Right? Yeah, I believe so. I don't have those numbers at my fingertips, but because it's like extended over a period of time. Do you know how much he spent on tickets all told? Because I know there was like his friend and you know. I don't know. I think he said two hundred. If I'm not mistaken. He said two hundred on the batch of twenty. Yeah. So one hundred from him and one hundred from Liza. And then I thought he said that he bought another forty or sixty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Throw out two numbers there, so I don't know how much. About a couple hundred dollars. It's very big. Yeah. All right, I think we're, I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you guys all for being here. I did want to also just point out, um, I can set up this piece of paper that he wrote the numbers on that he slept with under his pillow. Um, I'll set it over here on a table. And then on the easel back there, there are some photos Charlie wanted to share of how he looked and having kind of gone through some of his, his treatments. Um, so if you're interested in taking any photos of getting other perspectives on him. Um, there's pictures back there. But again, thanks everyone for coming and um, really excited for him.